YouTube gang, what's up? It's your boy TRTK once more. And today I got a very, very interesting tutorial for you guys. It's going to help you find the exact notes on any type of a sample. So it can be a piano sample, it can be a guitar sample, it can be a flute. It can also be a full song that you wanted to sample so that you can find the, the exact notes that were played. And this trick actually works 99% of the time. So uh, if you didn't know about the trick, make sure you tune in until the end of the video. And please don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and tell me what you want to see next on the comments below. Like the video if you like the content. Then yeah, because you guys are you guys are the people who have the power to actually make this channel work out. And let's get more people involved, get more producers involved, and let's make better producers and better composers. That's the motto. Uh, okay, let's get into it. What you have to do is find your sample first, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. I can use. Uh, I have this uh, Jules Jaden uh, guitar loops. So this this can be something we can work with. <laughs> I don't like that guitar, so I'm just going to play something, but it actually doesn't matter, it can also work. Okay, I like this, I love this. Uh, the tempo is 84. So let me put it on 84. Okay, so that we have the, the sample loaded on the playlist. What you do is you double click on your sample, take it into a free mixer track, uh, route to free mixer track. Then uh, what you do is on your effects rack, there's this uh, plugin which comes with fruity loops. It's called the Wave Candy. I know most people overlook this plugin, but it actually does the magic. This is the this is actually the trick, <laughs> the Wave Candy plugin. So yeah, let's get that loaded. What you do when you open this this plugin, uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but it actually does a lot of magic. So the first thing you do, you go into Spectrum, this menu called Spectrum. Then you just increase your update, put it somewhere about uh, 50 milliseconds, somewhere up there. And then you also incre in increase the maximum resolution to uh, 200 and uh, 2400. I'll show my zoom shit. Hey, 2048 bands. So, uh, and then you increase the scale. Yeah, you just increase it fully. Then, uh, just increase the d uh, the dB range a bit. Probably, let's put it somewhere here. Then, that's about it. That's about everything you do. Then you you take this thing. You enlarge it. The the actual wave candy. You enlarge it. As you can see, there's a, there's a keyboard on there. So what you do is click the play button. It's gonna show you the notes. So this is how I do it. When I, when you play, when you click play, as you can see the notes are coming up. And then I I click on the freeze button. It freezes this. Uh, it freezes the notes so that you can see them. Just make sure you don't uh you don't decrease the, the size of this thing what you do is uh, now that you have this th these are actually the keys that were played on on the guitar so as you can see it, it shows you like if you look here when I'm when I'm on top of the key here it shows that that's a G so uh then comes an f so these these are actually the exact notes that the the guitar is playing at the moment when you when you click the play button so what you can do this is what i what i like doing when uh when i have a melody like this let's say i want to play a bass line so i can throw in let me throw in uh, something from the Scott Storch. Okay, let's say I have this. 
this. Now that I know which uh, which notes we're playing, I can actually play the bass line according to these notes. So because this is a G, that means I'm going to start with a G. Uh, it's a G, then it's an A sharp. understand the point uh, like you understand what I'm doing I'm just looking at where the notes were playing because it played uh, this note then uh, the next note is actually D which we uh, I'm sorry so it's it's uh, it's an G it's a G then comes a G sharp then comes an A the A, there comes the F. I hope you guys get my point. This is uh, just, obviously this is not, uh, this is not a tutorial about how you play it, it's just how you find the melody. So, uh, I hope you got, you, you understood that part. So, let's just do one more for reference sake. If I can find something, a, maybe a piano type of a pipe or a, a trap type of a melody. I think Scott Storch also has some melodies in here. Okay, something like that. 100 BPM. save time I'm just gonna take it uh, onto the first channel as well so that we, we just we don't have to edit the wave thingy again so don't forget the settings you can pause the video if you, you want to uh, save these settings and then you can also save it as a preset so that you can open it like this next time so to clear this what I do I just decrease this a bit and then it's clear then I can I can play the the melody I just put onto the into the playlist. So as you can see, like it, it plays the exact notes as they are playing. So this one starts on the C. Uh, yeah, starts on the C, then goes down to the G then goes up again to the G so it's as simple as that is when you got this trick on lock trust me you won't be playing uh, any off key beats anymore from samples because I realized that a lot of people when they have samples uh, it's it's kind of hard for them to play uh, a counter melody that actually matches the, the key of the, the song and the notes that the song is actually playing so yes I hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends, share it with uh, your producer friends, share it with anyone you think might use the information. Because yeah, that's what we're all about. We're all about making sure people learn and we just share information and stop being selfish with information. Because uh, that's the, the whole point of just being here on, on this earth is to help others and just have a, just have a healthy conscience knowing that you doing your part so make sure that you share the video click the like button subscribe uh, hit the notification bell leave a comment and let's grow this thing let me give you guys more tutorials and just share your ideas tell me what you think I should add next and what you think I should be doing on the next video thank you guys for watching Hari TKE out <laughs>